Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Holiday Hosting. I'm Dave. And I'm Matt. And we're so excited to be here to bring you a gorgeous Thanksgiving dish. This is called... Anthony Porofsky's Thanksgiving Cheese Plate. Now Dave, what makes this cheese plate a Thanksgiving cheese plate? Not a lot, but you know what makes Thanksgiving special? Your what? heart. Oh. <laughs> so today we're going to be building a dish that you can use at any of your holiday parties, particularly around the Thanksgiving season. And this is really good because it's very cheap and from the store. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy, which makes it an Anthony original. Yes, absolutely. All these ingredients can be easily found um, anywhere that there is food. Yeah, one of the colder aisles. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I say whenever I go to the supermarket. I say, I'm going to go in the colder aisle because yes. that's where you can find the refrigerated yes, stuff. <laughs> that's, where, that's where you keep the stuff yeah. that needs to be kept cold. I think we're ready to start building this recipe, Matt. How about you? I think we are as well. <laughs> Great, awesome. So we'll take out our first ingredient, which is um, cheese. Oh, Dave, um, here's the cheese. I'm handling it with my hands. So here we have two different kinds of cheeses. This one here is yellow, yellow cheese. And this one over here is um, off yellow, off yellow kind of triangle cheese. I think what we should first do is, and can you please be mature about this? Cut, Cut the, the cheese. cheese. You don't want to cut it so hard that it scratches the plate that you've stolen from someone else. And when I say stolen, I meant borrowed. Yeah, great. That's perfect. Yeah, and if you just go in as hard as you can with the knife, um, that's going to create um, a lot of momentum, which is going to help you go through the cheese. Um, uh oh, this happened. Um, this happened. Uh, um, <laughs> you're going to want to go to the store and buy... Um, Crackers. Crackers, yeah. And you really want to make uh, it look like you made an effort to at least like have some sort of design element to the plate. I actually have a degree um, in creative writing, which is not applicable to this. Mm -hmm. um, but I am a creative person, so as you can see, that really is reflected here. Uh, Matt, I love that. See, what I like about this is now it looks like a little ship. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we have here the mast. Yes. And this is the... Um, the sail, the wind, the porter, the cast iron. I was going to say w the wheel, but... Uh, or that could be a person and this could be the wheel. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. This Cute. makes sense. Cute. This is so great. And your guests are going to love. I'm telling you, when they see this, they're going to say, is that Anthony's cheese plate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is incredibly oh. vegetable. Just throw it around the plate, really. Absolutely, like, you And know. The, the grape should be the ocean. Oh, that's the wave. This, by the way, is based on Anthony's understanding of the Thanksgiving miracle, mm -hmm. as I believe is what it's this called. This is all in his book. Yeah, this is in his book, um, which is called, called You Can't Say We're Not in a Kitchen <laughs> with Anthony. So this is The Ship Has Broken Half, which is a metaphor for America. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time to... Turn it out for the guests? Uh, I was gonna say try it, but I, I don't want to eat this. Yeah, no, it doesn't really, I don't, I actually, I feel full just looking at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for someone else, yeah, and it's really, that's great because it's really about the guests. Exactly, and it shows your guests that you thought about something that day. What do you do with the, um, the grind? Smoke it? <sighs> <laughs> we want to thank you guys so much for joining us for Holiday Hosting. Yeah. 